Renewed calls today for students travelling on buses to and from school. Concerned parents are pushing for seatbelts to be made mandatory in all school buses before a student is seriously injured or killed. Almost five years on, Jada Burns and her family are still affected by the horrific bus accident that injured her two children. We've suffered years and years of injuries and, and physio and surgeries and it goes on forever. In September 2007, a truck collided with their bus. They're lucky to be alive. That was a bus that didn't have seatbelts that got hit by a truck, so we don't want it to happen again. Less than a year later, another incident and another bus full of kids. Despite parents calling for mandatory seatbelts on school buses, politicians say the best approach may be to upgrade roads that the buses are actually travelling on. Long term, we need to be fixing the roads. The seatbelts are but a short term safety solution, one that is important, but nowhere near as important as improving the condition of the roads that those school buses travel on. He says the solution lies not just with improved infrastructure, but in driver education and training. The State Minister for Transport and Main Roads was contacted today, as well as the opposition, although no response was given by deadline. Now Jada just wants the public to get on board, ensuring that no more children are injured while travelling to school. Any parent, any concerned person that's worried about their children travelling on buses that don't have seatbelts to get on board and send letters to their local members or whatever we can do to get these seatbelts happening. Benjamin Stavala, Win News.